For many patients, the car seat ergonomics can play a role in their orthopedic disorder. And I mentioned before how the car seat wedge can take a seat that's bucket or slope downwards and level it out so that it's parallel to the ground. And that can be really important for a lot of people. And I would suggest that nobody should be sitting in a bucket seat for sustained periods for a long period of time because of the pressure it puts into the low back and deflection. But the back of seats in the cars can especially be concave as well. And for patients where that concavity is putting their mid back or thoracic spine in sustained flexion or pushing their neck into flexion or pushing their neck into protrusion, if it's relevant to the patient, we want to minimize that sustained curvature and deflection as well. There are products that are on the web that are thorac thoracolumbar supports, and they can be placed around the car seat. And the goal of these is to reduce that concavity, reduce that kind of bucket nature of the seat back, if you will, and make it more so that the patient can be upright. Not all patients are sensitive to flexion, of course, but many are. That doesn't mean that the person is driving and starts experiencing mid-back, neck, or upper extremity symptoms. It may present later, or it may present after months of commuting in a car like this for an hour every morning and an hour every evening. A lot of orthopedic disorders have to do with lifestyle factors that are cumulative. Most orthopedic disorders are not these traumatic acute events that people would like to believe. So the ergonomics matter, especially if people are in their cars for long periods of time or throughout the day a lot. And there's nothing in particular that's especially great about this support other than that it attaches and stays firm. You can also put a pillow behind you or a towel behind you. It, the point, the principle, is that if going into a lot of flexion for sustained periods, which is what the car entails, meaning it's not like an office chair where you're getting up and getting water, or getting up and going to the bathroom a lot. In the car, you're sustained in that position without variety of movement for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, two hours. If that ergonomics is bothersome, and even if it's not, you may just want to make it more upright by using some simple hacks to get the car seat so that your spine is in a neutral position.